I believe that material UI will die in the coming few years. Well, sort of. Let me explain. For the past four years or so, material UI used to be one of the, if not the most popular UI component library for React. But that might not be the case in a few years. And the reason for that is not because some other similar UI component library is getting more popular or something like that. It's because the whole industry is shifting towards a new trend. Did you already guess it? I'm talking about unstyled component libraries. Now you might be asking yourself, what is an unstyled component library? It's a type of component library that gives you all the building blocks that you need to build your UI, but those building blocks are as basic as they can be. As the name suggests, they come completely with zero styling, unlike traditional component libraries, such as Material UI. Sometimes they're also referred to as headless component libraries. Up until recently, if you wanted to create a truly custom UI, you had pretty much two choices. Option one, use a traditional component library such as Material UI and override all the basic styling to match your design. Or option two, create your own custom components completely from scratch. But both options can come with significant costs. Depending on how custom and complex your design is, it can be a lot of work to override the default styling of traditional style component libraries. As you might know, if you've ever worked with Material UI and had to customize it. At times, it can be really frustrating and time consuming. But the alternative is usually also not that great. Creating your own custom components from scratch while also trying to make them accessible and really robust is not an easy task. That also requires a lot of time that needs to be invested. And if you don't invest the time, you'll end up with components full of bugs, which are hard to maintain, which lack basic accessibility features, and so on and so forth. Unstyled component libraries try to solve this issue by providing components that are robust, are highly accessible, well tested, have documentation, and basically all the necessary logic to function, but without any kind of styling, and are therefore usually easy to modify in how they look and behave. Basically, the best of both worlds. And based on how quickly they are becoming really popular, it seems like that's what many developers want. Like take Radix UI for instance. I believe it's one of the most popular ones and also one of the most complete unstyled component libraries. As you can see, it's getting really popular recently. And if we take a look at their components, you can see they work, but they lack any kind of styling. However, they're really easy to style, either using normal CSS or, for example, Tailwind, or pretty much any other styling solution. And the rise of unstyled component libraries has been even more accelerated by a new component library that you might have heard of. I'm talking about ShadCN UI. ShadCN created a beautiful, modern-looking and fairly complete component library that builds on top of Radix UI and styles it with Tailwind. Unlike Material UI or other style component libraries, you have access to all the code of each component. You can copy and paste it into your project and easily change the styling and the behavior because it's pretty transparent. All the styling is in Tailwind, which you can replace with normal CSS, and the base for each component is using Radix UI which you can also change to your liking. Basically, it offers a lot of flexibility, transparency, which is something that is lacking in the traditional styled component libraries, like Material UI, for example. And the explosive popularity of ShadCN UI and Radix UI is proof of how much developers appreciate this and actually want this. So what does all this mean for Material UI? Personally, I think there will always be need for component libraries like Material UI that provide you ready, out-of-the-box components that just work. And they're great for all kinds of things. You can use them for prototyping or for simple products where you don't need a custom design. But the rising need for unstyled component libraries is apparent. And that means over the next few years, more and more people will switch from style component libraries like Material UI to Radix UI or ShadCN UI. However, remember that Material UI is only one product from the MUI team. And they're of course aware of this trend. And they have their own answer. It's called Base UI. It's pretty much their own unstyled component library. When I checked it out for the first time roughly a year ago, it was pretty basic, pun not intended, and it only had a couple of components at that time. But since then, they added tons of new components, making it more and more complete and a full-fledged component library that is viable. And it's already gaining popularity. In this chart, you can see the downloads of Base UI and Material UI. Since Base UI is a dependency of Material UI, 
the base UI numbers are a bit inflated. You can see that both were roughly the same for a while, since base UI gets automatically installed with material UI. But in the recent months, there is an obvious gap. That gap represents downloads of base UI that are completely independent. And as you can see, it's quickly rising. But that's basically where the industry is heading as of right now. So I'm gonna pass the question off to you. What is your opinion on that? Let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe. I have tutorials on Material UI and I might release a few tutorials on Base UI in the future, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.